Aries, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts. Just wanting to do a general check-in for you and whoever it is that you're thinking about at the time that you are watching this reading. All right, so let's go ahead and get started and see what presents itself here. I'll start off with the Truth Deck Soulmate Edition here. And of course, all the decks that you see will be listed down below, including the link to purchase them if you're interested. General advice as always, so please keep that in mind as always. Take from it what makes sense for you and release the rest. All right, Aries, let's begin. Let's see. Coming to an end. Either that or it's already ended. A connection, a situation, a relationship coming to an end. We have work it out. I'm also feeling for some of you that either you're not on the same page where a relationship is about to end or this is how things played out where you guys broke up. One of you wanted to work it out, but maybe the other one didn't. Bottom of the deck, we have improved communication. So that could have been an issue where you guys just were not able to convey what it was that you needed to say to each other. And um, that could have been the relationship's downfall because you guys just weren't able to open up and say what it was that you needed to say to each other or just communication overall could have been an issue. Maybe this person was holding back or they lied to you. They just weren't telling you what it was that you needed to know. Something happened here. Three of Swords. Part of what they might have been concealing from you could have been an affair. It could have been secrets, lies that they were not disclosing. So, of course, this created a very difficult situation that ended up hurting you. It broke your heart. Not a pleasant experience at all. We do have the Six of Swords. Now, if this is past energy that's presenting itself, Aries, this is telling us However, that more than likely you have moved on from that. You know, this after all is about releasing that baggage from the past. Let's see. So we do have the two of wands. Some of you at this point might be pondering where you want to go in life. You know, you certainly don't want to regress and go back to a situation that hurts you. But I do feel for some that maybe there's a part of your heart space that's thinking, you know, what would it have been like or what would it be like if we did try to work it out? And that ultimately falls on two people being able to sit down and talk things through. Maybe you feel like you're at a crossroads as well. Whatever this is, though, or was, it was a very painful ending to the relationship. You have the Ten of Swords. You've got the Three of Swords. Both cards really pretty intense. Maybe this person is feeling like, you know, they should have tried a little harder to salvage the partnership. I feel they might have some regrets here over how things unfolded. Look at that. And now we're seeing the Five of Cups. Look at the energy, you know, grief, despair. The Five of Cups can represent a lot of regret. Yeah, they definitely feel the loss. They definitely feel this emptiness because you're not there. So by hurting you, they ended up hurting themselves even more. And now they're realizing perhaps that you are their person. Maybe they see you as their soulmate. They see you as their ideal person. But, you know, maybe at this point it's too late, which is why things ended or it's about to come to an end. Bottom of the deck, we do have the Eight of Cups. So we're starting off with a pretty intense message here for you, Aries. And maybe you've already done this where you walked away from this person because they hurt you so much. They did something here to, to really turn you off or uh, to hurt you deeply. So if you did decide to walk away or if this is what you're thinking about at the time that you're watching this, I feel based off of what I'm seeing Without proper communication, you might have taken it upon yourself to make that decision to, to end things. 
So let's see. Let's see what else we can find out because we're going to go ahead and get into some dialogue messages here. I'll be pulling from The Untold Messages of the Heart by Aqua Moonlight for Aries. Angels and spirit guides, please. All right, what does this person have to say? They clearly hurt you. Look at this. Stubborn. You could be dealing with a very stubborn person. Okay. And part of that energy, too, is maybe you are or you were waiting for some form of communication from this individual, but maybe they were just holding back. Um, going back to, where is that message? Improve communication. It's very difficult to improve communication if the other person just was not speaking to you. Or, of course, you might have decided, I don't want to talk to you anymore. So that could have been a problem. Let's go ahead and grab another message here. We have why. I don't know what has happened between us. If you're confused, I'm confused too. So there could be mixed signals here. There could be this confusion that's going on in the partnership. But that, again, needs to be addressed. And it really does come down to two people being able to maybe sit down face to face and talk things through or even text each other, call each other. There has to be a conversation that happens here in order to clear up that confusion. So let's go ahead and grab some tarot here and see what else we can find out. Someone's just being stubborn here, which is why the conversation isn't flowing. If they're confused, they created that confusion. We can't get away from it, guys. Look at that. Three of swords again. So there's so many interpretations there. Heartbreak, betrayal, loneliness, absence, depression, separation, sorrow, grief, and a love triangle. If it was a love triangle... That might ultimately be why you're not interacting or speaking with this person. Maybe they're confused as to why you're not returning their call or responding to their messages. But ultimately, this is why, you know, because they did hurt you very deeply. We have the Nine of Swords. So fear, anxiety, insomnia, nightmares. Deeply unhappy. They're feeling hopeless. They're depressed. They can't cope. So I'm kind of feeling for some of you that this person who hurt you, they can't handle it. You know, um, that could be their comeuppance. The fact that they can't handle it because they hurt you. And whatever situation they had going on, if it was a third party, that might be a thing of the past. It could be over at this point. That situation didn't work out. And now they're suddenly realizing that they still want to be with you. And ultimately, Aries, you're getting the last laugh here. You know, you're like, uh, I'm not sure I want you back. You know, and, and they can't seem to handle it. And that, of course, could represent the fact that they're not sleeping. They're having nightmares. So there's some karma here. We have the Ace of Wands. This person, whoever this is, they still feel the spark with you and they, they want to try again. That doesn't necessarily mean, Aries, that you're going to give them another chance, but they want that. Nine of Cups. Ace of Swords. This is so interesting. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, they're still... You're still very much a part of their, their hopes and dreams and wishes. There's something about you that fulfills them, but... They didn't realize that until after they lost out on the connection. And again, if there were third parties or love triangles, I do feel that that might not have worked out. And so their thoughts are going back to you. And they now realize that they still want you. They want to be able to have another opportunity to be with you. But at the same time, Aries, you might have cut this person out because of that. And... They really want things to, to work out here. And that ultimately goes back to this card. They want to work it out with you. It depends, you know. Do you want to work it out with them? You might not. You might not. You've been 
through too much with this person. So it's understandable, Aries, if you've got your guard up, if you've got your walls up around this individual, you know, three of pentacles. So that's what needed to happen. But I have a feeling that might not have happened, you know, because they needed to work with you on the partnership. But if they were messing around, if there were other people in this situation, that's not working together as a team. That's not being on the same page with you. That's perhaps what it is that you're looking for. But look at this next card here. Okay, Four of Cups followed by the Two of Swords. Okay, so this is no longer moving. It is now at a standstill. And what this person recognizes in their own life right now is that they have so many regrets over losing you because at this point, they know that maybe it's too late and that they missed the chance to be with you. Holy crap, that's intense for them, you know? And maybe Aries, at this point, you really do have the last laugh. It's like, ha ha, you effed up. You know, it's kind of what I'm getting there. Okay, let's grab one more set of dialogue messages here. This is the 5D Love Messages deck by Calico Moon. So this is you getting your last laugh. That might be ultimately what I call this reading. Let's see. I have never loved anyone as much as I love you. Wow. So I, I really do feel that's a realization after the fact. This is the next card I'm spying on you. So this could be an ex-partner maybe who's keeping tabs on you. That's a possibility. Okay, so let's clarify. For Aries, I'll be pulling from my Tanya Lutero here. Somebody's keeping tabs on you, Aries. Look at this. Look at this. Page of Cups. Here's our Three of Swords again. So they know they hurt you. And so part of the energy of the Page of Cups, as we can see here, is their curiosity. Part of that curiosity is what's causing them to keep tabs, to, to spy on you. Maybe this is happening on social media here. Because they know they caused this situation look at this they also know that they hurt you in this way backstab betrayal they really ruined the relationship and this could be where you're at you know you had enough you decided to end things walking away from them Fives can be difficult, and we have two of them right next to each other. Walking away, disappointment, no doubt this person hurt you and disappointed you in the way that these cards are coming through. Here's the pain right here. Maybe you're still feeling it. You're still going through it. But hopefully at this point, you're more empowered to not even take this person back, Aries, because you deserve this. You deserve true love. You deserve somebody who's going to respect you and treat you right. Either you've already found this or this is what the universe has planned for you. Here's the teamwork. That's exactly what's needed. So I, I do feel for those of you who have yet to find love again, this is what's coming in for you. Somebody who really will be on board, who will be on the same page as you. As for this person who hurt you deeply. Look at that, Ten of Wands. This is truly a part of their journey. You know, so now they're feeling this incredibly heavy energy and heavy burden that they are carrying because of something that they did. So karma at its finest. That's what's coming through for this reading. Seven of Cups, they entertained way too many people, too many situations, too many options, and now the tables have turned, Aries, and you've got these options before you. It is up to you now to decide with who or where it is that you want to go. You get to choose now. 
I really do feel, if you relate to this reading, Aries, that you have gotten to a place in your life where you just needed to let go. You had enough. This person hurt you. This is you walking away. If you have yet to do that, that's the message. To walk away from people, situations that will no longer serve you or are no longer serving you. Because this hangman is now giving you the opportunity to take a step back from that situation and to finally make room for something or someone better. Bottom of the deck, we have temperance. So if it's not happening right away, just know that it's on its way. There is progress, but it's just going to take time to get to you. Who knows? Possibly latter half of this year. We do have Sagittarius coming through here. So, you know, maybe... November or December of this year is when love will find its way to you or when your love life is finally going to take a turn for the better. Okay, so I will leave that there, Aries. I do hope that there's something in this message that resonates with you and lets you know, gives you hope that the road ahead looks a whole lot better than where you've been. Okay, so I'll leave that there, guys. If you're interested in your own reading, that information is down below in the description box, as well as all the decks that you see here. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.